Hello. Let's see how it goes. Ooh. Let's see how it goes. Good evening, good evening everyone. I'm not sure actually whether you can see me and then hear me or not. Um, <laughs> good evening everyone. Um, the, um, hello. <laughs> My name is Father Taimin. Welcome. Hello, Ronnie. Hello, Mustafa. Ah, it's a completely different setting. Um, well, just just a question. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me or not? Um, I this is <laughs> I have to say this is a completely new setting. Um, as you can see, uh, hello. Let's see, um, the Judith. Um, Susan, good evening. <laughs> um, well, let me explain. Let me explain. But before I say anything, can you hear me? Ah, can you hear you? Yeah, thank you, Ronnie. Thank you, Ronnie. Um, that's very good. Um, well, I normally use my mobile phone. Where is my mobile phone? Um, it's somewhere down there. But um, I realized that um, my old mobile phone the battery is, is running really, really fast because nowadays I'm using, um, you know, COVID-19. Uh, COVID uh, yes, it sounds slightly different. Yes. Um, <laughs> good evening, Dave Jenner. Uh, Dave Jenner says, good evening, everyone. God bless you all. Just enjoyed fish and chips uh, with our friends Mark and Corny. <laughs> Normally, um, well, where to begin, actually? Where to begin? Okay, let me begin um, with um, this. Um, normally, Friday, you have Dave Jenner show, yeah? and then Jenner Productions, um, they do um, everything. But um, today, um, you know, the Dave Jenner, um, you were a bit busy, you. So um, <laughs> we decided to swap. <laughs> so um, the Friday, well I, well, I said, yes, I can do it, I can do it, I'll do it. But I completely forgot to um, the charge my mobile phone. Yeah. So what happened is my mobile phone now, um, well, been in the charge, but still 20 or something percent. So it's, it's way too low for me to do um, the live streaming, especially for the thoughts for the night. So I thought, okay, what can I do? What can I do? And then I realized that I can actually charge my mobile phone and then use my um, tethering. So I use the internet signal which i can get because there is no internet signal in the church so um i'm using my laptop at the moment that's why the camera angle is different and then my laptop particularly not um, an expensive one it's not a shiny fancy one it's just one of the um, um you know um hero packard it, it's good 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 laptop it but it's not um super good <laughs> so the quality of camera here um that's not really good so um, please bear with me, <laughs> the quality is slightly different and then, um, yeah, I, because, you know, in this, you know, um, my laptop um, the camera is not really in the top um, grade, that means normally um, the microphone quality here is not good either, so I had to use my external mic. Yeah, external mic. So I don't know whether this is, um, is good sound. Um, can you actually hear me? Is it too loud or a bit too too low? Um, I like to actually hear from you because this is my 
um, you know, the first trial. I've never used this particular setting with my, um, with my um, the laptop. So I would value your comment. Please let me know. Um, I know the, the video quality is not that good, well, but you know, there's nothing much I can do. I'm sorry. <laughs> Completely forgot to actually charge my um, you know, the mobile phone. So that's my um, you know, um, fault. Yes, Carol said, you know, sound is great. Yeah, because I think um, sound quality should be... <laughs> Good evening, Chinese. <laughs> the sound quality should be better than the video quality. Yeah? So, oh, let's see. But as long as you can hear me, and as, looking, as long as you can actually hear me um, playing the guitar... <laughs> I, I, I think you know, the sound is okay. Thank you very much. Everybody's saying it's okay, sound is okay, but quick quality, okay-ish. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but hang on a minute. You haven't enjoyed the good quality um, the video so far. So only one day, only one day. That shouldn't kill you. So that's fine. <laughs> good evening, everyone. Um, it's a Friday. Friday. What did you have? What, what did you have? What did you have for your dinner? No, no, no. I'm not going to ask that. How was your Friday? My Friday, well, um, it was okay. I'm very proud of myself because I've been extremely productive. Yeah, it was good. Um, many of you will know that um, you know, on the um, Sunday, good evening, I'm um, Kathy, welcome, and um, Chica is here, and an all welcome, welcome, and um, Madeline from Colchester, hello, good to be here. Thank you, Madeline, welcome. Good to have you here. <laughs> Oh, your voice is always good. Thank you, Mustafa. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, we do, um, in our parish school, we do a collective worship. And, and well, many of you will know that in you know, a collective worship, um, you know, um, is an important part of our, our school community life there. But um, Monday morning, I do have something to do, so it's quite hard for me to be in... Um, the Mrs. Sheehan's office to do um, the live, um, you know, collective worship. So I normally um, send a video, a recorded video. I actually um, send them um, to um, to the office. So they uploaded that and the system. They played it. So uh, they play it. So that's that's what I do. But I realise that if I just pass, if I send my USB memory stick on Monday morning, it's it's always tight, and then I I. I've been struggling, you know, because, you know, always Monday morning, I have to drop something in the school, but that's, that's always someone ring, rings me. <laughs> so I've been quite, you know, I've been naughty in a way. So this, um, this week, I thought, hang on a minute, I will record the video before, by the end of this week, and I will drop my... Um, you know, recording video um, in the office today so that on Monday morning they don't need to wait for me or always for the same file. Yeah. No, no rush, no problem. So I decided to drop it and I managed to record um, collective worship video and I dropped it um, in the school. And while I was there, I had a chance to, um, um, you know, talk to some, you know, children, you know, if I just go there, children say, hello, Father Tamin, hello, Father Tamin. So, yeah, I, I spent a good time in the school, um, I talked to some children and, and you know, teachers and etc. So that was really, really good. And in the, um, um, in the afternoon, I decided to um, do something and then I managed to complete most of them. There are some, you know, what I have to say, I have to be absolutely honest. There are things that I planned, but I could not actually manage to finish, but, you know, that's okay. Um, I'm not being lazy or anything, but, you know, sometimes you have to accept, you know, just accept the fact that I can only manage certain things in a day. So, um, overall, it was okay. In the afternoon, um, I went to um, you know, Westminster Abbey to collect Stephen. Um, we... We went to um, Turkey Street Station, um, used a train, 
um, then Seven Sisters tube down to the Victoria Station and they came out and then I even had a bit of time um, to kill so um, I went to um, Cafe Nero and I, I, I love Cafe Nero so I'm, I'm not um, you know Starbucks or um, um, another you know coffee shops I think they're not strong enough for me for my taste so I prefer um, Cafe Nero so um, as usual my favorite you know double espresso and then that was good, and a glass of you know, um, you know, tap water with ice. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. And I went to um, was Mr. Abbey um, for a Coral Even song. Um, as usual, their, their voice, heaven. I really enjoyed that because today is um, um, Friday. Um, Friday is, is a full choir. So I really enjoyed that um, you know, the moment, um, you know, time for me to reflect um, you know, this week, um, from last week. And then it was kind of you know, the healing for nearly 40 minutes. After that, um, we went to um, Warren City Station, um, the bus number 24, um, another tube, oops, I'm sorry, another tube and come back. So it, it's okay. Stephen, I think he's, um, he, was, he was awake, um, but I think he must be um, in, in, in bed now. So um, had a dinner, yeah, good, um, the dinner, a bit of, you know, the family time, I had a bath. And then um, that's why I completely forgot to actually <laughs> charge my mobile phone. And then that's, that's why I am here um, sitting just right next to this altar of repose. Many of you will know this, um, this altar of repose. This is north side of our church. And then um, this is a place where I decided to do um, the Thoughts for the Night tonight. Just something about this altar of repose. I know it's a Friday, and, and I really want to actually um, want to do um, very sort of you know, happy stuff, and then you know something that um, to make you laugh. But um, I'm not really good at um, you know at doing that. And then I, I, my friends' friendship, my friends' network is quite limited, so I don't have um, uh, any friends. Um, you know, someone like um, you know, Jamie. Jamie Jim Jar, you know, um, I really envy, you know, um, you know, Father Vince because he has a, he's got a variety of, you know, friends. But my friends' network is a bit more limited than him. So um, yeah, but you know, I'm here to, um, you know, to encourage you to think about, you know, um, the auto repose and then what we're doing in the church. Um, many people saying the church is for all. I think that is extremely difficult concept um, for me to um, accept it and then well it's easy easy to accept but you know it's difficult to actually put it into practice um, when we say the church well church uh, sometimes we say yeah and no, we have to um, you know concentrate on the younger generations and the young people you know how many you know young people in, do you have in your church if you have 20 wow brilliant we have only five so um, in many cases um, the number of um, the young people in your church community that is a kind of um, you know we, we we use that as a as if that's the kind of you know ultimate measure whether your church is successful or not but I think um, you know it's, uh, it's it doesn't need to be in that way because church is for all not only for the young but also the elderly as well and then because if we see our lives you know of course you know i was even even i was a, a young boy and then i became a teenager 20s 30s now i'm in the 40s and then i'll become i'll, I'll be in the 50s and then um and and then one day you know god willing you know i may be able to celebrate my 60s or even 70s god knows who knows only god knows but i think it whatever you know the journey that that we we do by the end of our journey well let's say our journey is pilgrimage the end of our pilgrimage <laughs> when we get there we have to pass that special gate called oh, death the end of our physical life on earth and i think um, i don't afraid of that because there's no need for me to be afraid of that because if I if we if I say I believe in God and then that means I believe in what he said 
oh, I believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe in what he said, and then, of course, you know, I believe in what he promised. So what he promised is eternal life. So there is no need for me to be afraid. Okay, my family, um, you know, rest of the friends, well, I'm going to commend them to God. So there is nothing for me to worry about. But one thing I know is I will pass that gate at some point. And once I pass the gate, I know what is waiting for me is just eternal rest until, until our Lord comes back. So this altar is, um, is um, a good reminder for me about that cycle. The cycle. Because, you know, this life is not the end of the world. This is only the end of, if I die tomorrow or whenever, and that is going to be the end of this life on earth, but you know, we have such a strong hope for the next, um, you know, the life to come. So it, it's okay, but this altar of repose, which we light the candle, as you can see. Can you see that candle? Yeah? That is um, our candle. We always keep this light here, always, apart from um, between Good Friday, uh, Monday, Thursday night, Good Friday, and then Holy Saturday, until th between that, you know, two, three days. Apart from that, we always keep that, um, you know, the lamp on. And in front of that lamp, I wonder, it, I'm not sure whether you can see this, you know, furniture, piece of furniture here or not, but there is um, the Book of Remembrance, and then we put all the names um, of the deceased um, in that book, uh, because that's what we do. We remember their names, and then we remember not only their names, but also the promise of Jesus Christ. So that is what we do. And then, again, as I said, this place, somewhere near to this altar, is always a good reminder of one of the fundamental message of uh, you know, Christian you know, faith, which is strong hope for the eternal life and eternal kingdom. So this place is, I think it's, it's a wonderful place. It is, some people may, I know, if you are sadly have lost um, your beloved you know, family and friends, um, you know, recently, I know this is a part of our life and then I fully understand that you may feel still difficult and then sadness, that's, that's for sure, that's for sure. Because, you know, many of you will remember I myself also have not stumbled on my land at some point. had to go back to South Korea. But when I came back, I couldn't actually feel that. But later, that bereavement process, you know, came into um, my life in slightly different ways. So that is a natural thing, I believe. But what sustained me um, um, through that, you know, the difficult time is actually strong hope. And then that's what we believe. And then that's what identify what actually um, you know help us to um, to be the Christians. So um, tonight, I know it's a Friday, but <laughs> I wanted to do a kind of a you know, funny show. I, I maybe I should have put my disco lights again, <laughs> but um, I decided not to do it because I was a little bit you know um, the behind you know the time time was ticking. Oh, no, where's my mobile phone? You know, I was a little bit you know um, pushed um, by time. But I think um, it's 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 good um, you know message for us to um, you know remember. So um, I pray and I hope, um, you know, tonight especially, if you have a plan to go out for, um, you know, um, clubbing or whatever, <laughs> if you have a, you know, um, you know special plan, um, you know, to open another bottle by yourself or with your family members, you know, I, I hope you enjoy it. But the end of that, you know, good time before you go to bed, I would love to actually encourage you to think about um, the promise of Jesus Christ, which is eternal rest and eternal kingdom. And I hope we can have the sense of, you know, the peace from that message. Okay? Now, I, I still, I'm not sure whether um, this guitar sound would look, um, well, will be good or not. Um, as you can see, I could not actually prepare... Um, any of um, you know the PowerPoint or anything, but what the song that I'm going to um, sing tonight is um, you know the Jesus Lamb of God, worthy is your name. You know? 
Um, you are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel, Lord, to give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. And Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. So that is the song that I'm going to sing. But if you, um, if you have um, you know, another equipment, just, just Google it. Jesus, Lamb of God, um, the worthy is your name. You will be able to find some um, the lyrics. And I'm sorry, uh, my laptop is not strong enough for me to run um, two different broadcasting, um, you know, the programs. If I were using, um, if I were in, in the you know in the parish office, I could actually use um, you know the PowerPoint and then share the screen with you through this you know um, you know the live streaming um, you know, system, but. Um, being here with my uh, not terribly bad, but it's okay itch laptop. <laughs> I think that's a, a bit too much for me. So, dear my friends, I'm going to um, sing a song. You're my strength when I am weak, blah, blah, blah. And then while I'm singing, um, I'm going to ask you uh, to um, leave me um, a name if there is anyone who celebrates your birthday. And I'm so that, uh, well, in that case, if I see any names later, and I'm going to sing the happy birthday song um, um, with all of you to that, you know, birthday boys or birthday girls, um, you know, later. Okay, now it's the time for us to enjoy <laughs> music. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my precious jewel Lord to give up I'd be a fool you are my only Lord Jesus Lamb of God what is your name Jesus interesting because um, it's a song it's a worship song that we've been singing so many times but whenever I sing um, whenever actually not only me whenever we sing this song I don't know how you actually feel it but I feel um, it gives me a different meaning it gives me a different feeling and then um, you know the, tonight 
the particular, you know, the spot, the lyrics um, that strike me is actually this, you know, taking my sin, my cross and my shame, rising again, I bless your name, you are my all in all. And then I think the second part of um, that, you know, um, the first part of, you know, the second verse, I think that, that's what stopped me. I wonder how you should feel it. <laughs> but anyway, is there anyone who celebrates birthday? <laughs> okay, but I'll, I'll wait until, until the end. Oh, before I say uh, a prayer, just a quick notice. Um, you need to actually do something for me, yeah? Promise me, promise me that you're going to do it for me. Ha! Now, um, many of you, many of you, but I know not all of you will know that at the APCM, that's APCM means our church annual, you know, church, church is AGM. You know, um, that's when we actually select, um, elect um, your church wardens and then PCC members, etc. Et um, but we do a very special thing. Of course, you know, we say goodbye and we say we express our gratitude to those who are going to retire from the PCC um, this year. But there is one thing um, I think is quite unique um, to us. It has been we've been doing for you know, um, several years now. We have a special um, ceremony called St. Georgian's. Um, 2020. Each year, we I encourage you to vote for a one person, to pick up one person, and then um, just give that person's name to me. Yeah, and then what we do is um, we 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 wait until let's say 23rd or 24th, and we wait until the last moment, and then we encourage people to vote. You can send me an email, you can text me, you can leave a comment, um, not comment, but you know, don't leave a comment because everybody will see that, see um, your um, you know, vote. But you can actually send us the message. We're going to collate them all and then we're going to have someone who is the winner among us. And then um, I normally encourage people to look around and see if you know anybody who are working behind the scene and if you feel oh yeah actually you know i would like to actually vote um you know um for the and then the father Taylor, for example and then father vince because um but you can't actually vote for two people so you have to choose one okay i'll vote for uh, father vince because um i can see he's been um you know, great support. He's been supporting the community, and then you know, I think he deserves to um, to be the winner of Saint Georgians, um, to be the Saint Georgians in 2020. In that case, you send me a message with his name, and then, and then just leave a comment. Oh, I think Father Vince should actually win. In that case, we're going to collect them, and then we we actually make an announcement. Really interesting things. The first round, the first year, we didn't have that variety of names. We had nearly um, this is only three, four names all together, and then it was not very you know complicated. But as we go on, the last year, I remember that we had so many different names. That means people were looking around. And then there are different people, you know, their work has been acknowledged and, 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 and has been mentioned. I think that is, that is the important thing. So think about who you are going to pick. Yeah. One person, but there is conditions, no clergy. <laughs> Father Vince and myself, uh, don't, don't put our names because we are clergy and we are just doing what we are called to do. But I'm talking about, you know, the laity, those who are actually working behind the scene for the benefit of our, you know, the community. But now, this year, since the lockdown, our community means it's not just normally, you know, the by, well, you know, geographical, you know, um, the community. We also include this, you know, the virtual community as well. So please think about it. And I've got plenty of time. I'm going to upload that information on our Facebook and on our website. So you will be able to see a bit more details. But now I'm telling you now, think about 
one person attend, um, you know, well, can people online like me vote as well? Yes, 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 you can, Kathy, because you are already the member of our virtual community. So you can, you know, vote, um, you can pick one person and then um, just um, send a message to me or to us because um, it is not open, only, you know, editors can see and we're going to collect them and then we're going to, um, you know, um, count your vote in. So please feel free to um, you know, vote. And anyone who sees this video, um, you know, the later, not tonight, feel free to vote. Probably we're going to um, open the voting line of this, you know, the vote. We're going to close, um, we're going to close it on, on the 23rd. 23rd, I think the 23rd of October is a Friday. So let's say, um, send us your vote. The latest, um, you know, the vote that you can do is on Friday um, night, 23rd of October. Yeah, so let's say that. And then just think about it and then pick one person and then send that person's name to me. But well, sometimes like this, oh, well, actually, I know someone, but I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I'm not really good at the names, but I don't know who he is or who she is. In that case, give us the descriptions. Oh, he's the one who always sit at the back of the church and always do some, you know, um, something, something like that, you know. Descriptions, we're going to try to find out, and it is not going to be my only decision. We only open the vote, and I always count with other people. So it is not my will. Oh, I think I need to give this, you know, reward to Father Vince this year. No, it's not going to be like that. So it's quite open. So let me know, okay? Let us know whom you're going to pick. So the winner will get a small gift from all of us, okay? <laughs> That's what we do. And then now, my bro brothers and sisters, um, it's a time for us to say a, um, a short prayer before I say good night and goodbye to everybody. I'm going to turn around so that you can see the candle. Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed. Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we being defended from the fear of our enemies may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen. Ah, now, dear my brothers and sisters, um, <laughs> wherever you're watching, <laughs> wherever you are, I pray that um, you enjoy the rest of your day today, and then um, tomorrow may be good. Okay, and I'm going to say, um, you know, the good night and goodbye. God bless you all. And then for those who would like to, um, you know, come to the church um, for Mass, and then Mass is at 12 o'clock, um, I may see um, some of you, and then otherwise I'm going to see you all on Sunday um, at 10 o'clock, our, um, our live streaming Mass and our parish Mass. Okay? God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day. Good night. Bye for now.